<coughs> Welcome back. Okay, just as a forward, I'm going to die on both mid-bosses in this level. So, anyway, now that uh, we have our last armor, the rewards we get from defeating mid-bosses are actually going to be uh, upgrades for our weapons, which won't really mean much because nothing will change in the last level. This stage is actually one that's not especially modeled after anything in Avalis 2 Turbo, which is a bit of a surprise. Considering that pretty much everything else in this game is a direct copy. Well, aside from the mid-bosses, though. In any case, I couldn't really do much to keep myself from dying on mid-bosses. Either they give me the pattern that I want here, or they don't. And for some reason, the jump uh, wasn't really cooperating with me the first time I fought this particular mid-boss. However, homing is really still the best way to fight him. So the reason I really choose to Let's Play Valus games, at least for the time being, it's really that I'm generally interested in a series that never really went anywhere after uh, the closest thing they had to a heyday. Because uh, after the action platformer series, there was, uh, of course, well, okay, not much except for the game that killed Telen at Japan. I'd really like to see a remake of uh, this series with better gameplay and... Well, that's about it. That's all I think it really needed. There are a couple of other uh, remakes I think I want, like, say, The Guardian Legend. However, these days, I think there's a pretty fair chance that a remake of The Guardian Legend might end up something like, oh, I don't know, The Guardian Legend, Other G. Flight is not authorized in this shooting level, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a terrible thought. I'm gonna have to play some Glaylancer to wash that one out of my head. So anyway, wait a minute. These enemies are from the sharp version of the game. What are they doing in here? Yeah, this game actually does seem to draw a bit from both uh, the turbo version and the uh, earliest versions of the game. The Japanese fan base actually seems to be more loyal to uh, the original versions uh, than the turbo version. Even though the turbo graphics was a very popular game console in Japan, much more so uh, than it was in the US. Of course, it was kind of helped that many of the best games for the uh, Turbo CD actually did, you know, were available in Japan, but not over here. And here's mid boss number two. I remember what strategy I used, but far too late uh, to save me this time. So anyway, another reason I'm interested in the uh, series that didn't make it is that, well, some might consider me an old-school gamer because the classic NES was really my third gaming platform. Possibly even my fourth. So I like to go back and see hey, what kind of series either, you know, didn't make it all the way forward to the modern day, or have their own representations in modern gaming. Or uh, even just uh, games that uh, aren't even really considered classics by the old school crowd. Hmm. 
and then there we go. You know, the real strategy here is to use homing, hope it intercepts enough shots, and, well, hope for the best. Because, you see, you can't actually uh, jump up to hit him like you could in the first phase because he shot out his platform above you and it keeps you from shooting him in the face like you did before. However, you haven't seen the real homing abuse in this video yet. Oh yes, also up- oh, wait. And here's Hazen again. Oh my. This is the most aggressive of Yukos. So anyway, this spinny phase is actually the potentially most harmful. He can't- he goes up and down of his own volition and he has much greater reach to uh, hit you with. Bullet is the best weapon for him, and since we've gotten the weapon upgrades, different weapons now have different uh, attack powers. So, because he, you're in the most danger, you want to end it quickly. This next stage would be dangerous, unless I do this. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Hazen's hitbox does not extend down to his legs this time. And he's flying around like his sharp incarnation. Uh. Get used to this, this is basically what the rest of the video consists of. Even though he has three separate phases this time, this is the general idea of fighting Hazen. He's really, really tough, unless you know how to totally cheese him. This isn't... this doesn't even make him trivial, this makes him entirely harmless. And for his third phase, he becomes Alexander the Grape's giant hair louse. Basically, all I really have to do is stand here and hit the fire button. That's all I would have to do to beat this boss. I don't need to do anything else whatsoever. I can't say I remember another game where I can trivialize a boss this badly. I mean, another action game. I can't remember any Castlevania game where I could do it. Well, okay, there was that one time with Grant in Castlevania 3. But other than that, this is the one that really sticks out the most in my mind because this is a late game end of level boss. And all I have to do is hit B. I could put a rock on my keyboard and I could beat this boss. Yeah, the current status of the Vala series is that the properties are technically owned by Sunsoft, but they haven't done all that much of anything in years except for perhaps a Blaster Master remake. And the only real releases I've seen are, are uh, in Japan, and one was a PC uh, collection of the uh, Turbo CD games. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my hands on the Valus Perfect uh, collection. And it's not really a high priority for me. I'm not planning to Let's Play Valus 4 for the Turbo until some major strides are made in translating it. Because I would prefer for you people to actually know what was going on, and I would prefer to have some motivation to actually finish the game. Anyway, it looks like the boss is winding down. I'm sorry the boss isn't more interesting, but there's not much that I could have done about it. There aren't really any SD Valus ROM hacks laying about. Anyway, that's it for 
Level 4. See you next time.